Hello year one and welcome to Monday's Maths. So last week we started thinking about addition and subtraction with a bit of subtraction at the end of the week. So today we're doing another little bit of subtraction where we're not crossing 10, that means our number won't go past 10 when we count backwards and today we're going to be using a number line. Okay, so we have got a number sentence and two ten stones to help us. It's asking us to find out the answer to 14 take away 4. Okay, and I want to use this number line to help me. So I'm wondering whether you can have a little chat with somebody at home. How can I use the number line to help me find out the answer to that number sentence? And how do I make sure that I get the right number and don't make any mistakes? Okay, so just pause the video now to have a little chat about that. Okay, so when we want to find out the answer to a number sentence using a number line, we want to think about what number we start on. So if we look at our uh, number sentence here, we start on the number 15. We find the number 15. There it is. Okay, and I want to take away how many? Take away four. Okay, it doesn't mean I need to go and find the number four. That, that is how many jumps I need to make. We start on the number 15 and I'm going to make four jumps forwards, backwards. I'm going to make four jumps backwards. Okay, now I want to make sure that I don't jump on the spot like this. One. I don't want to count that as one because that would give me two, three, four, and that would give me the answer is 12. And if I don't jump on the spot, and I make sure that my first jump goes to the next number, which is 14. One, two, three, four. I have landed on the number 11. So 15 take away four equals 11. And if we were to use these tens rooms to help us, if you have a look, four have crossed off, We've got 10 here, one more, that gives us 11. One 10 and one, one gives us the number 11. Super, okay, so that's what we're going to do today. So question one for you, exactly the same as I've just done. 16 take away three equals what? So use the number line to help you. I need you to write that number sentence down and then tell me what the answer is, okay? So pause the video now to have a go at that one. Fantastic, okay, so you started on the number 16. We want to make three jumps backwards. We want to take away three. We don't want to go to the number three. We want to make three jumps backwards. Okay, so are you ready to count with me? One, two, three. Fantastic. What number have I landed on? That's right, I've landed on the number 13. So 16 take away three equals 13. Could you have a go at saying that number sentence with me? 16 take away 3 equals 13. Brilliant. Now, I'm just having a look at my 10 streams here and there seems to be a bit of a mistake. I wonder if anybody can spot the mistake. I've take, tried to take away too many there, haven't I? Because I was just looking at that, I thought, but Miss Adams, that looks like the number 12. And I thought, how many have I taken away? Well, I've tried to take away too many. I only want to take away three and I've got four lines there. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. Brilliant. So now I've got the answer 13. That's why it's always important to double check because sometimes we do make mistakes. Okay, right, let's move on to question number two. This time I've not got those 10 streams to help me, so no chance of Ms. Anne's making a mistake this time. Okay, so I want to find out the answer to 17 take away 4. Okay, I want to use the number line to help me. So you might have a number line at home or you might use the screen and use your finger to do your jumps. Okay, but I'd like to pause the video now and have a go at finding out the answer to 17 take away 4 using the number line. Superstars, okay, so here is the number 17. I want to take away four, so I'm going to make four jumps backwards on my number line. Ready to count with me? One, two, three, four. And I've landed on the number 13. So 17 take away four gives us the number 13. Okay. So let's say that number sentence together, shall we? 17 take away 4 equals 13. Brilliant. Okay, let's have a look at question number 3. What number sentence does it want us to find the answer to this time? 19 take away 5 equals what? 
Okay, so again, using your number line, use your finger or if you've got a number line at home, pause the video and find out the answer to that number sentence. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to start on the number 19. I want to make five jumps. So I'm going to jump backwards. Please count with me. One, two, three, four, five. I've landed on the number. 14. Fantastic. So 19 take away 5 equals 14. Are you ready to say that one with me? 19 take away 5 equals 14. Brilliant. Right, let's have a look at question number 4. All this time I've not got the number sentence. I've got a word problem. Now, I'm going to read it to you, but we don't necessarily need to be able to read all the words to find out what we need to do. So let me read it first. John has 17 sweets. He gives five to Sam. How many does he have left? Now, we can pick out the numbers that we need in that question to find what number sentence we need without needing to read the words, really. So I've got the number 17 I want to start with. And then I've got the number five. Well, that's going to tell me how many jumps I need to make. So a good way to figure out a word problem is to spot those numbers that you need, then put it into a number sentence so that then you can use that number sentence to help you find out the answer. So the first number I'm going to start with, the whole that he has. He has a whole number, first of all, doesn't he? He has 17 to start with. Then he gives some away to his friend. So we're taking away that many. So how many does he give away? He gives away five. Okay, now I've got that number sentence. So it's 17 take away 5 equals. Okay, so I want you now to be able to use the number line to find out what 17 take away 5 is. Okay, so pause the video now to find out the answer to this. Fantastic, so I'm starting on the number 17. I'm going to make 5 jumps backwards. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3. Four, five. I've landed on 12. Oh my goodness, Ms. Adam, what sort of a line is that? I've landed on the number 12. Okay, 17 take away 5 equals 12. Can you say that one with me? 17 take away 5 equals 12. Brilliant. Okay, for our final question, question five, another word problem. Oh, and it's missing something. Miss Adams was clearly half asleep. And I did this this today. So Lucy has 17. Not 17, 19. Lucy has 19 apples. Okay, I hope you're more on the ball than I am. So Lucy has 19 apples. She gives four to Sam. How many does she have left? Okay, so your job is to write me the number sentence and use the number line to find out the answer. Okay, so pause the video now to have a go at that. Brilliant. Okay, so our number sentence, first of all, that we need to write is, well, she's starting off with the whole, okay, and the whole is 19. Okay, then she gives away a part of her, of her whole. She gives away four of her apples. 19, take away four equals and then we can use the number line to help us find the answer. So we start on 19. Ready to count back four with me? One, two, three, four. I've landed on the number 15. So 19 take away four equals 15. Brilliant. Can you say that number sentence with me? 19 take away four equals 15. Fantastic. Well done year one. Really great job of uh, subtracting with a number line. So tomorrow we're going to have a go at crossing 10. So those numbers are going to go below 10. So yes, we're going to need our brains really switched on. And hopefully Miss Adams' brain will be switched on too. Okay, so great job. I look forward to seeing your maths work on Class Dojo and I will see you for more maths tomorrow. Bye everybody.